What are you doing? That's mine! I'll have your head, Skate Grace! Must be one of them native fellas, say, eh, from the, eh, uh, what's it called? Iroquois tribe. Hi. You from that? Of course not, Terry. Iroquois ain't a tribe. Is so. Is not. The Iroquois is a confederation. Confederate what now? What? Um... I... I was told you could train me. No. Go away! I'm not leaving! I need a place to camp. This should do. There must be another way in. Please, 
all I ask is a moment of your time. I apologize if I've been unclear or otherwise confused you with my words. It was never my intention to mislead, so let me try to clarify. Get the hell off my land! Coming up! Hear me out. What are you so afraid of? Afraid? You think I'm afraid of anything? Least of all a self-important little scab like you? Ah. <clears throat> or you might be being a hero. Of riding to rescues. Of saving the world. But stay this course, and the only thing you're gonna be is dead. The world's moved on, boy. Best you do, too. I will not leave, do you hear me? I'm never leaving. Just wait, old man. I will not be defeated so easily. These are square toes. This will be easy. That's what you said last time, and I wound up with a dead horse and a dark eye. Who are you? No one you need concern yourself with. Little bridges. Best cut for something bad happens. No. Can't say we didn't warn ya. You're only making things worse. Why are you here? What do you want? Best to ask the boss man. Ugh. You working for the old man, then? That it? Maybe this will get you talking. Oh. <sighs> Thank you. Clean this up. Then I suppose we should talk. Sorry. Not your fault. This whole place is ready to come down. Goddamn miracle it hasn't already. Anyway, who are you? My name is Rado Hangado. Right. Well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. Now, tell me why you're here. I was told to seek this symbol. Do you even know what that symbol represents? Or what it is you're asking for? No. And yet, 
Here you are. The spirit said that... that These I am... These spirits of yours have been harassing the assassins for centuries. Ever since Ezio uncorked the bottle. Uh, but you don't even know what an assassin is, do you? Well, best settled in then. I've got a story to tell, and it's gonna take a while to get it all out. And so, this is why the Assassins have dedicated themselves to the pursuit of the Templars. Because if they succeed, your spirit's visions will become reality. Then I will stop them. Oh, I have no doubt you'll try. <sighs> Come on, I've something to show you. Careful. Uh, wasn't a joke when I said this place was coming apart. Why don't you repair it? What's the point? Besides, I don't have materials for the job. So buy them. <laughs> Look at me! You think I can just march into some store purse full of pounds and go shopping? Yes. Why not? So naive. This way. Don't think you can just come in here, throw those on, and call yourself an assassin. I, I did not. I, I would never presume... That's all right. I know they've a certain allure. Very well. I'll train you. Then we'll know if you've the right to wear those robes. Thank you. Um... Name's Achilles. Come on, then. We've work to do. You are a speck of dust, a nothing. You and all your kind, living in the dirt like animals, oblivious to the true ways of the world. What do the Templars want? What they've always wanted, control. They see an opportunity in the colonies, a chance for new beginnings, unfettered by the chaos of the past. This is why they backed the British. Here they have a chance to illustrate the merits of their beliefs, of people in service to the principles of order and structure. I have seen what is to come if they succeed. They have to die, don't they? All of them. Even my father. Especially your father. He's the one holding the whole thing together.
So I trained in running, in climbing, in fighting, in falling. And for every lesson that concerned the body, there were two that concerned the mind. Language, philosophy, logic, the arts. Achilles taught most often of the assassins and Templars, their structures, origins, and purpose. Centuries of history condensed into a few short days. I told him of the men who had burned my village, of Charles Lee and my promise to him. Achilles explained that Lee and his followers were Templars, and that they were led by none other than my own father. If I was to serve the order, these men would become my targets. So I worked harder, learned faster, but for all my progress, it was clear that I still had much to learn. My training had only just begun. Good morning. To you as well. You taking a trip? I've decided to do something about the house. And you're going to help me. Get it. is incredible. The people, the sounds and smells. I could walk these streets for days and know not even half its wonders. I thought the same as you upon a time. These days I much prefer the quiet of the countryside. But there is so much life here. So many opportunities. For a few, my boy. For a few. There's a store close to here. You're to buy the items on this list. Tell them where the carriage is, and they'll see that it's loaded. Understood? Yes. Good. You're also going to need a new name. Your skin is fair enough that you might pass for one with uh, Spanish or Italian blood. Better to be thought a Spaniard than a native. And both are better still than I. That is not true. What's true and what is aren't always the same. What would you call me then? Connor. Yes, that will be your name. All right then, off you go. Oh, 
society. It seems each day a new tax is levied, a new rule enforced. You lost? I need the items on this list. Will you be paying with coin or trade? Some of these things I have, some I don't. Lumber's hard to come by since my supplier up and vanished. I have the tools and pitch, though. Nails, too. So, uh, where do you want this delivered? Our wagon is near the state house. I should return to Achilles. Who stands in Parliament for Boston? For New York? Everyone! For Virginia? Come no with us! We found enough! Ragtag and riffraff, come with me! We're headed to the Customs House to toss some quips at the lobsters. James! What ha happened? We're That's what we're going to find back. out. With me! Follow to me. King Street! We'll show them! Down to the customs house for a spree! Come along! in this manner is forbidden. We're not going anywhere, bug. Oi! Why did you go back to England? No good can come of this chaos. Return to your homes, and all will be forgiven. Never! Not until you've answered for your crimes! You're right, coward! You don't scare us! Pointing guns at aunt arms! We ain't afraid! There. Is that... my father? Yes. Which means trouble is sure to follow. I need you to tail his accomplice. This crowd is a powder keg. We can't allow him to light the fuse. But... But nothing. Do as I say and go. Come on, you gosh-gutted coward! It doesn't shoot at me! Hey, lobster! Go ahead! Fire your little gun! You red fat rum so bacon faced no! And you shoot bacon this on you! Your plot has ended. Not quite. Oh, damn you! Fire!
I need to find Achilles. You there? Careful now. I'm here to help. Who are you? Well, just a messenger. Mr. Adams wants a word. What? Why? Well, you'll need to ask him that yourself. He'll meet you tonight near Faneuil Hall. I suggest laying low till then. Over here, over here. You're Achilles' boy. Connor, was it? I saw what happened at the townhouse. A fine mess, that. Who are you? Samuel Adams, at your service. Achilles asked me to get you out of Boston. Explain. The whole city's looking for you. streets wanted in connection with the massacre at the townhouse citizens are advised to call the guards if they see him 10 pounds to whoever brings this mad what am i supposed to, to do now you can take down these posters for a start return to me once you remove the others we can't be seen together until these posters are gone
Ah, Connor. There you are. I'd like you to meet Cyrus. Is it... is he the killer? Peace. Cyrus is on our side, or rather, for the right price he will be. Have you seen this man? Watch and learn. Oh yay, oh yay! Word has reached us that the man responsible for today's shooting may have been in disguise. A wig and makeup tin were found near the scene of the crime. Witnesses describe a middle-aged gentleman of pale complexion fleeing towards the wharves, rifle in arm. Thank you kindly, Cyrus. Pleasure. Come on, then. There's still one last bit of work to do. Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. Damn it, we're too late. They've set up a checkpoint. Come on, this way. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required.
Where are we going? To the printer. Where do you think all those posters came from? They're made by a machine. We need to shut it down. I can go by rooftop and meet you there. No. Better you learn about the tunnels now. Tunnels? The Masons have a whole network of them under the city. They're quite useful when speed and secrecy are required. Use your lantern to light the lamps, Connor. They'll help us find our way should we get turned around. I wonder why they built these tunnels. I can't help but feel this is the wrong direction. Excellent. Let us move on. Much as it pains me to say it, we must follow the rats, as they often move in the direction of an exit. Well, well. You were right. I apologize for ever doubting. No wonder Achilles has taken such an interest in you. I don't suppose lockpicking is part of your repertoire? done. The printer isn't far. Let us reconvene there.
You ask a great deal of me, Sam. I know. But I wouldn't be here if it wasn't important, if it wasn't vital. Fine. Just this once, though. In the future, such things will come at a price. Resetting the type is neither quick nor easy. To say nothing of the cost should I be discovered. I shall not forget this kindness. Nor I. His work will see your last little bit of notoriety erased. Come. I'll show you how to leave, now that order's been restored. So, now you've had a chance to see how it all works. Untoward actions will upset the citizens and inevitably lead to the guards being caught. Depending on the severity of your transgression, they may simply search a bit before giving up and returning to their post. But should you offend them severely or repeatedly, they'll become much more aggressive in their pursuits. I've shown you three ways to turn the tide. Remove wanted posters, bribe town criers, or visit a printer to create your own propaganda. This feels wrong. Why not just speak to someone and explain my innocence? You can't be serious. We counter one lie with another. Words on paper instantly taken as truth. And all of it without question. They loose this beast! Or have you forgotten? I merely helped you tame and turn it round. There must be another way. Something more honest. Well, when you find it, do let me know. But until then, we sculpt with the clay we have. My apologies. I do not mean to sound ungrateful. Quite all right. I was much the same at your age. You'll grow up. Here we are. Speak with the harbor master, and he'll see you home. Thank you for everything, Sam. I promise one day to repay the favor. Oh, I'm counting on it. Like this. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a kraken, others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long if it's an inch, and it rolls ships for sport. You won't find me on the high seas searching for the beast. That's a guarantee I can give you. But it's a riddle that needs solving.
seen the serpent? You bet your arse I seen the serpent. Thing was horrified. Where was it? Just out past the breakwater. Came up to the surface to have a look, then plunged right back down again. The parts I saw was 30 feet. Who knows how much remained underwater? Jack say there's an old man that's always around when the beast appears. Jack say a lot of things. But this be one, I believe. They say he commands the thing. <laughs> Some old man ordering a cracking about? What a bunch of fluff. Then I mate. A lot of men I trust spin the same yarn. You hear the serpent weaver die? The old thief's buried not far from here. The hammers up a light. Good riddance. That old fellow people said called the crack and bought the farm not long ago. Nobody's seen the beast since. So it was true then. Didn't say that. Maybe you could ask his widow. She won't leave his grave. You come to pay your respects. You're the first. He didn't have many friends. People just didn't understand. He was a good trader, a good husband. I never wanted for anything. Think you're meaner than Goose Grease, do you? I'm organizing an attorney for lads like you. But it's not open to just anyone. Gotta prove yourself first. Here's a list of names. Beat each of these brutes and you'll get your spot. Then we'll see how tough you really are.
What do you need, my friend? happening three legged
Western Weekly Advertiser, a penny to stay informed. You bet your ours I seen the serpent. Thing was horrifying. Where was it? Just out past the breakwater. Came up to the surface to have a look, then plunged right back down again. The parts I saw was 30 feet. Who knows how much remained underwater? Jack's say there's an old man that's always around when the beast appears. Jack say a lot of things. But it's B1, I believe. They say he commands the thing. Some old man ordering a cracking about. What a bunch of fluff. Then I'll make. 
A lot of men I trust spend the same yarn. Call upon the services of a qualified physician. You hear the serpent weaver died. The old thief's buried not far from here. Man was a blight. Good riddance. The old fellow people said called the crack and bought the farm not long ago. Nobody's seen the beast since. So it was true then. Didn't say that. Maybe you could ask his widow. She won't leave his grave. You come to pay your respects. You're the first. He didn't have many friends. People just didn't understand. He was a good trader, a good husband. I never wanted for anything. and the curious public. Toby Locke will demonstrate tomorrow by the Belfry The first time I saw the light was back in Boston. I was trading my biggest take of the season when the fire rose behind Beacon Hill. Went straight up in the night sky, past the moon. Then it was gone. I wasn't alone. Those next to me had their heads cocked the same, craned as far back as it could go, mouths the gape. Couldn't tell you what it was, but I can tell you it wasn't of this earth.
Welcome back. You left me in Boston. The training we've done here is all well and good, but experience is a better teacher by far. What of my father? Into the wind, I'm afraid. We have to find him. And we will, after the house has been repaired. But he's out there plotting who knows what. And what would you do when you found him, if you found him? You're a boy with a few months of training. He's a man, full grown, who spent decades honing his skills. If you're going to stand a chance against the Templars, you're going to need these. Go on before I change my mind. Sir, please! Help! He's going to die! Who? There's no time! Please, come! Down there! He's just passed under the bridge! <coughs> Help me! Please! <laughs> 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 What this knobend is trying to say is he's forever in your debt, sir. Who are you calling? A knobend? You! Because you are one! What were you doing on those logs? One of the dangers of lumbering. We've got the camp set up a few rods off of here as we're cutting timber. We're hoping to open a mill in the area. There's a good place not far from the manor on the hill where I'm staying. <laughs> I like you already. We'll have a look. I'll miss the peace and quiet, but we can certainly use the wood. The manor needs a lot of work. That and other things. Meet me at the small shack by the shoreline when you have time. There's something else you need to see. What is it? An asset.
Thank you. Thank you. Are you all right? I think so. Didn't do much to me aside from a good scare. Blaggards. What did they want with you? My purse, which was meager, and they decided to punish me for their trouble. Silly, really. My tools and equipment were worth a king's share to the right man. In any case, I had best get on my way. It's a long walk to the nearest inn. I thank you again for your kindness. Have you no home? Oh, well, I was a proud resident of Boston until recently, but I'm not a supporter of His Majesty, and, well, I was forced out of my woodshop and home by loyalists. There are plenty around here who could use the services of a skilled craftsman, if you were looking for somewhere to settle. Is that right? I may look into that. Have a good one, Connor. Captain Kidd had a secret to be sure. Just get me a ship and a crew, and we'll find out what it was he held so dear. I met him once, that chappin. He was seven feet tall if he was an inch. I tell ya, legs like tree trunks and a smithy's arms. Almost broke my hand shaking a little low. I could feel it then when I met him. No weapon made by man could harm him. Come here, Amanda.
Go away! Say, go away, boy! Do you not speak the king's English? Oh, I didn't see you there, old man. I'd have set my home in order if I'd known you'd be calling. The boy's name is Connor. He's here to restore the property. Restore? Restore? Pardon my manners. She's still the fastest in the Atlantic. Sure, she needs some attention, minor things mostly, but with a little affection, she'll fly again. Who is she? Who is she? Why, the Aquila boy, the ghost of the North Seas. The boat. A, a boat? She's a ship boy, and make no mistake about it. I thought you brought him here to restore order. I reckon he's the greenest thing on the frontier. Connor, meet me back at the manor when you've finished here. You said it requires repairs. You able? She does need work. A ship is a she, boy. And yes, I can refit her, but I I'm lacking in the proper supplies. Some, some quality timber would help me get started. I can see to that. How long before it, she, is able to sail again? Just get me the lumber, boy. And I'll raise a crew. There you are. I have something to show you. Come, take a look. What is it? A ledger. It lets us manage the homestead's dealings. And these? Uh, that was years ago. Before the slow fever, before the Templars, before everything collapsed. But that's all in the past. Better we focus on what's in front of us. Take up the ledger, and I'll teach you how it all works.